Welcome to episode four in this series, and this is going to be probably the shortest one of this series because it's about mixtures, and we're only going to cover two slides. So without further ado, let's get this party started. If we're going to talk about mixtures, we need to have a definition of it, and a mixture is basically two or more substances mixed together or put together without chemically combining because if they were going to chemically combine we just call them a compound so when we talk about a mixture we can actually separate the components if we desire now the most important type of mixture for us is going to be a solution and this is a solution in which something is dissolved in a liquid which is typically going to be water now your book uses the definition of a mixture in which um, all parts are evenly distributed. So make sure you remember that book definition. Now, when you talk about a solution, you have two key vocabulary words, and these are down here in red and purple. Okay, as you see down here in red, solvent is the substance that does the, does the dissolving. So think of it as like a liquid. So if you were to make Kool-Aid, the water that you would put the Kool-Aid powder and the sugar in, that's going to be the solvent. Now the solute, that's the stuff that gets dissolved. So in our example of Kool-Aid, think of the Kool-Aid powder and the sugar, those are the solutes. Now, very important for you to remember that water can dissolve both polar and ionic compounds. It cannot dissolve nonpolar things such as fats, oils, and waxes. Those will not dissolve in water, but if you're ionic and you're a polar compound, you're definitely going to be able to dissolve in water. All right, now what's a suspension? I don't mean you're going to get in trouble, you can't come to school that day, or you got to go sit down in a little room and do your homework and not be around any other kind of humans, although some of you probably deserve to be in one of those places. But here's what a suspension is in scientific terms. It's a mixture in which the stuff is in water, but they do not dissolve. So I want you to think of anything that you've seen in a bottle or a container that says shake well. Think of salad dressing, um, if you took an antibiotic that's in a liquid, those are all suspensions. Now within you and other mammals, blood is a suspension. Now the liquid part of the blood is called plasma, and then the things that do not dissolve in the water but are suspended or floating around in it, those would be your, your various blood cells. And I want you to zoom in here onto this picture, okay? So the liquid part inside here is going to be the plasmid, but the most of the, st the stuff that's floating around, in other words, you'd have to shake well to make it work, that would be red blood cells. Remember, red blood cells are going to carry oxygen, which would be O2. White blood cells, those are used in the immune system. So they help you fight off uh, disease and other pathogens. That'll get you in trouble. And then platelets, these guys are used in blood clotting. So like when you get a cut and it's going to heal itself, that's what's going to be used in there. All right? So there's some other stuff that's also going to be suspended in there, but the, those are the main things. Okay. All right, that's going to end this episode. I told you it was going to be very short, pretty uh, simple. But you need to make sure that you know the difference between solvent and solute. Remember, think of Kool-Aid. The water is the solvent. It does the dissolving. Solute is the stuff that gets dissolved. And these are often a salad. So think of Kool-Aid again. The sugar and the Kool-Aid powder, those are the solutes. So until next time, we're going to catch you on that flip side.